It's 749. Great story in the Washington Post about the late Willie Mays. His nickname, the Say Hey Kid, came from his tendency to start conversations with the word hey, as in, hey, how you doing? And in that vein, perhaps we should start this by saying, hey, how great was Willie Mays? Well, we can give you stats. Mays hit 660 home runs with a lifetime batting average of just over 300. He also had more than 3,000 hits, won two MVPs, 12 gold gloves, and made 24 all-star appearances, all despite a two-year absence from military for military service. But the Post, Paul Duggan, notes that many have Mays right next to Babe Ruth as the greatest of all time. Some put him above the Babe. There's a quote from Red Sox legend Ted Williams who said, quote, if there was a guy born to play baseball, it was Willie Mays. As for the catch, the one everyone remembers, Mays over the shoulder grab in the 1954 World Series. Mays himself said in previous interviews that he knew he was going to make the catch itself, but he was thinking further down the line. He added, quote, suppose I stop and turn and throw, I will get nothing on the ball. To keep my momentum, to get it working for me, I have to turn very hard and short and throw the ball from exactly the point that I caught it. How's that for strategy? Now, the catch itself, it was spectacular, but his throw kept the run from scoring. So much can be said about Willie Mays. He was 93 years old. His legacy will live on forever. All right, let's talk hockey. The Oilers are still alive in the Stanley Cup final. This one's on target, and it's swept away by Kachuk at the last moment, but McDavid scores! Connor McDavid with 17.3 to go sends this series back to Alberta. So close! Edmonton's Connor McDavid had two goals and two assists. He became the first player in NHL history to have back-to-back four-point games in the Stanley Cup Final. Now, he's got 42 points in these playoffs. Only Wayne Gretzky and Mario Lemieux have scored more in a playoff run. That's pretty good standing right there. The Oilers, though, are still down three games to two, so game six coming up on Friday. It's a must win. Mililani senior-to-be Kenny McMillan remains focused in the offseason. After losing to Kohuku in the state title game last year, McMillan is focused on a championship run now that he's already made his college commitment. He had offers from nearly a dozen schools, including Arizona, Oregon State, and Hawaii, but he felt the best fit for him was the University of Washington. Honestly, I didn't know how stressful it was picking a college into being in that spot, so I just felt like it was a family decision. It just kind of felt like home and like what they got going up there. I mean, they're saying it's be, be a pro, and that's just kind of my goal, just to make it to the NFL. It's a pretty good choice there. Mililani season begins August 10th at Kailua. How's it going?